In this video, I play Terraria, but it's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. There's outfits, stands, and best of all, sound effects. I literally watched all 152 episodes of the JoJo anime just for this video. So if you could leave a like, I would really appreciate it. So the question is, can I collect all of the stands, unlock all of their powers, and then beat Terraria? Zawardo! Oh my god! Well, keep watching to find out. Now, the first thing I did was spawn in and began checking out my keybinds because there's a ton of them that they added to help you control your stand. And right now, you're probably wondering, what's a stand, Adrian? Basically, a stand is like an STD. Only some people have it, and they give you unique powers. These stands are unique to the user, and they give you unique abilities. On top of that, they look really cool, usually. Our final goal for this entire adventure is to get all of the available stands in this mod and get them to the last tier or final tier. But we're going to talk about that later. Also, whenever I die, there's even the To Be Continued meme, which you guys probably know because this is a very good JoJo reference. I tried practicing my speed house as well because i've actually just completely forgot how to make them and i messed up the proportions but i started researching on how we can get our first stand now according to the wiki there's actually a few ways you can actually get a stand one is to either spawn with one but we didn't get a stand from that another way is to use an arrow shard but to get this we needed an npc to spawn first which actually didn't take too long who has arrived jotaro yari yari jotaro oh they did you so wrong in stone ocean oh yeah i'm gonna be using that voice i'm gonna be using it a lot um I'm sorry. Now that Kira has been dealt with, I can go back to the Speedwagon Foundation. Stunned helper. You seem reliable. Here, I want you to take this and use it on yourself whenever you can. I think you'll like what will happen when you do. After Jotaro arrived, we were able to get an arrow shard. Now with this, we pricked ourselves with it. And after 10 minutes, we would have the chance to acquire any stand of the 20-ish stands in the game. Bruh, it's Star Platinum. Holy shit. What? Jotaro. Stud Platinum. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm doing that voice. My goal right now is to get the, you know, obviously get Star Platinum because, you know, that's kind of like the series, the iconic stand. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll be super lucky. During this time, I decided to go mining because, well, the buff was like 10 minutes, you know? I don't know why I play expert mode. I, I could be thriving in normal mode. I don't know why I play expert. Why do I play expert? The problem was if I die, then the timer resets. So I just really have to make sure that I don't die. Anyway, I decided to mine down slowly this time to ensure my own safety. I also crafted a hook and a sapphire pickaxe, I believe. And then when the buff was almost up, I went back to the surface to stay safe. 31 HP. I'm going to stay with Jotaro. Protect me, Jotaro-kun. You know what I sound like? I sound like, I sound like Mista's pistol. Mista! <laughs> I saw the duration go down and I knew that our moment was coming. I just knew that fate was gonna give me star platinum. And well, 10 seconds, please give me a stand. 10 seconds, come on. Ah. Ah, shit. Okay, technically, this is a way better stand than Star Platinum. So by the law of equivalent exchange, I'm trading this in for Star Platinum. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we just have to be the main character. We just... Oh, my God, it's Star Platinum, baby. Yada, yada. I just can't have a normal day, can I? You're trying to mock me by asking me about my own stand? You've only just awoken Star Platinum. I expected better of a copycat like yourself. Bruh. I decided to test out Star Platinum and explore the world at the same time. This, oh my god, Star Platinum is so good. I also stumbled upon the King Slime materials whilst mining in the snow biome, and I also saw this very delicious crafting recipe for some ice cubes. They even added the ice cubes for that one, uh, what is it called, the train episode. After which, I made myself a small arena for King Slime, and I started farming for gel. Now, here's the thing, though. If I fight King Slime, and it's at the final stage, I might just die. Anyway, here's the fight. Dude, we're so lucky we have a demon altar right here, baby. Here's the problem. If we fight the King Slime, we have to be really close to it at all time. All right, let's do this. Go on manual mode. Dude, no chance! No chance! No! Ah! Maybe there is a chance. I need to get rid of all the slimes on the platform. Oh, the damage hurts. It really does hurt. Go up. Star Platinum can't go down for some reason. Star Platinum, please! Please! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, the spikes hurt. If I fight at the same level, it'll speed up eventually and just kill me. But I have to take the risk. The risk is worth it! Come on! Yes! Oh my god! Ah! Does it only hit one target at a time? Oh! Oh my gosh holy crap oh yes let's go dude yeah after the fight i got the one thing i wanted which was a king slime mount but yeah now our goal was to just start getting more stands like i said we have to collect all of them but in order to craft stands we needed to get this viral meteorite ore that actually spawns after you beat skeletron so we need to beat skeletron with star platinum i went ahead and crafted my dig faster and sleep capsule while i was waiting for the demolitionist to spawn because we were going to need some bombs and during this time i think i just went ahead and just started mining to get more bombs i ran into this rusty revolver which i can't remember where it's from it might be from joseph 
Is it? Anyway, I also ran into some basic accessories like a cloud in the bottle and a regeneration ring. Until finally, the demolitionist came and I bought a ton of bombs. So of course, I began bombing down in order to get more heart crystals and some other stuff in order to fight the Eater of Worlds because I don't know why I didn't send it to Crimson. Now, the reason why we actually need to beat the Eater of Worlds is because we need to get access to something called a remix table, which is a crafting station where we're going to craft everything at. But for some reason, I couldn't get enough heart crystals. It was just taking a long time. Dude, there's barely any life crystals, man. I've been searching for so long and I only have 160 HP. So yeah, I got impatient and I thought that I could just cheese it with some grenades because that's exactly what I do with Brain of Cthulhu. So I just bought some and just started heading towards the corruption and that didn't work out at all. Okay, that was horrible. I ended up gathering fallen stars in order to make some jester arrows, but then a meteorite ended up falling down. So I decided to just make a full set of meteorite armor and just make a space gun. Technically, I'm doing this to get to this other stands as fast as possible. Whoop, yeah, okay, oh. Bootleg cosplay. Oh, wait, we can craft a lot of it. Jotaro's cool hat. Oh my. Yo! Should I make this bootleg cosplay armor? I wanted to prepare for the fight one more time, so I crafted myself some potions, and well, here's the fight. I just need a few shadow skills. Dude, why did I pick Eater of Worlds over Brain of Cthulhu? I was like, I'm gonna get some variety. No, no, no variety, Adrian. No, make it easier on yourself. What are you doing? All right. Oh, this is the tasty stuff right here. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Star Platinum. Give me the backup I need. Star Platinum's going crazy. We got the shadow scales. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We can keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it. Oh, it does so much damage. It does so much damage. I barely take damage. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I lied. Oh, I'm dying. Let's go. Let's go. We had the assistance of the space gun and some defense, but hey, it all, it all works out. Of course, like usual, you get yourself a sexy worm scarf, and I was finally able to craft a re table. I also almost completed the cosplay armor set and I just needed to get a will of protect which I believe dropped from the forest at nighttime. I have no idea. But they also needed some cobwebs. But then after that, I was able to craft the full cosplay armor set. Ooh, like cosplay jacket. Nice. Now we just need the pants. Yes. Yes. Yada yada does it. I like my armor set more though. So we're going to put that on. I also realized at this point that we had enough sun droplets to craft hamon. Hamon. <laughs> it's, we have enough hamon energy. Sun droplets to make hamon. Oh, snap. Ah. Oh, we can heal with it. If you right click, it heals you. And so I crafted that and it was a really good weapon. But I also started making more houses because our next goal was to fight Skeletron. And like I said, just a reminder, when we beat Skeletron, a meteor, it was going to spawn. But that's going to be kind of hard because we don't have Hermes boots. So I began cave diving to get Hermes boots. And I also was able to feed the Eye of Cthulhu because I got the spawn item and I just used Hamon. Don't worry about it. It was a really easy fight. Star Platinum, please. I don't have Hermes boots. Oh, Hamon is so OP. If I die, I'm going to cry. Please. There we go. It's so loud. That's all you hear. <laughs> I also ended up getting a new good weapon thingy called the Soapy Glove, which I I forgot what the guy's name was. Was it Zeppeli? Zeppeli. I decided to actually craft a Nightmare Pickaxe, and I started making an instant elevator because I wanted to get Hellstone, because I wasn't going to fight Skeletron with a close range stand and just die and cry, so I went ahead and made myself some full molten sexy armor. So freaking scrumptious. For some reason, I didn't even find the Hermes boots yet, so I just kept mining for those, and I also tried to get more HP from Life Crystals. Gold chest right there. Might be Hermes boots. Whoa! But before we get to Skeletron, here's a word from today's sponsor, Monster Legends. Monster Legends is an awesome free-to-play battle RPG mobile game that will put your strategy skills to the test. There are over 900 monsters to collect, and there's also new monsters coming out every single week. On top of that, you can breed monsters of different elements and rarities to create cool and new species. You can also level up your monsters and boost their powers with runes, relics, and talents to gain advantage in the battles ahead. By doing all of this, you can create the best team and put your strategy to the test in the ultimate challenge by battling other monster masters in real-time live duels or in the multiplayer mode. Recently, Monster Legends just launched their newest era in the game called the Blossom Era, focusing on the awakening of the forces of nature. Check out some of the new exclusive powerhouse nature monsters available with the new era right here. On top of that, one of the unique features in this game is the YouTuber island, where you can find a ton of big YouTubers you probably already watch, and check out their monsters and the skills that they also have. Right now, if you download the game and you use my link in the description or the QR code on the screen, you're going to get 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kyori. But just keep in mind that this is a limited time offer, so make sure you download the game now now and claim the rewards because it'll just really help you out and speed up your leveling process. Thank you so much to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video and anyway let's get back into Terraria. During my first attempt with Skeletron I messed up I ended up teleporting accidentally into hell don't ask how um but I did a rematch and I think the rematch was pretty intense. I Yo the bubbles are so good. Bubbles are so good. Let's use up all our Hamon. Get rid of the hands. Oosh. Oh that hurts. If we can just isolate the hand get the hand to come here. Come on. 
Yes. Hands. Oh, I can't reach that. I have 29 Hamon. Come on. Swing your hand towards me. Like that. Yep, yep, yep. Stop playing them. Stop saying what and just actually hit it. All right, we gotta go. There we go. There we go. All part of the plan. I'm gonna go in manual mode. There we go. Yes. This is the strat. Skeletron, it's over. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Stop going up. Come on. Come on. It's almost dead. Let's go. Oh, my throat. Well, it's all itchy now. After the fight, I realized that actually the meteor crashes in the morning after the fight. So I went ahead to the dungeon to go get some water candles. I also started running a ton of silt through an extractinator, which I usually don't really do, to get some gems to build my magic storage system because I was getting too lazy to manage my chests. Ah, yes. And then finally, when it was morning, a viral meteor actually appeared, as you can see, but also at the same time, a goblin army, which isn't too bad. But I decided to fight the goblin army first because I'm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. It was kind of annoying, but after finishing finishing them off, I decided to complete my magic. Wait, what did I do? I started continuing building my magic storage system. And then after that, I went off to find the meteor. I found it. The viral meteor. Oh. So beautiful. After I got the viral meteor, I started crafting a ton of stuff to make the stands. I'm just going to let that footage play out because there is a ton of them. Oh no, viral meteorite bars. Let's make 72. Let's see what this can make. Oh, we can make stand arrows. Oh, shit. You have a 55% chance to give yourself a stand. I think if... Wait, 55% chance to get a stand, but 45% chance to just die. Let's just... uh, Let's use it. Three... Hopefully, we don't die. Three, two, five. All right. We, it's okay. We have, like, a lot of them, right? We got more. Star Platinum Tier 1. We already have that, though. White snake. We got white snake. I still didn't finish Stone Ocean, so we got white snake. Whoa, white snake. Oh, that's so sick. We can make gold experience. Giorno Giovanna. There's no special abilities yet, but gold experience already does. Switches the ability used for right click. Punch enemies at a fast rate and right click to turn into a frog. Gold experience. There it is. <laughs> So we can also upgrade all of our stands to tier two, but we need a oh, we need a lot of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna aim to upgrade every single stand. So let's keep crafting more. Hierophant green, hierophant green. Ooh, I love Kakyoin. Shoots emeralds at the enemies. Yeah, I, this is really OP. You can just shoot the freaking emeralds that he has. Oh my gosh, how many stands are there, dude? Aerosmith. Oh my god, it's Naranja stand. Naranja. Wait, what? You control it? Oh, oh Dio stand. Let's bring it out, baby. Kono <laughs> Dio da. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, we can make six pistols and oh, we can make the lock. How does this work? I want to make six pistols as well. Oh yeah, you use bullets and it controls it. Right click to have it. Oh, okay. Let, let, let's stop making stands, bro. We gotta, we gotta progress, man. I want to make this is so. Dude, this mod is so cool. With that being said, our goal was to get all of the stands, like I said. But actually, we're gonna max them out. But to do this, we were gonna need a ton more viral meteorite. But luckily for us, placing normal meteorite around viral meteorite allows it to spread. So with that being said, I started spreading this STD to regular meteorite. I also started building an item room to keep track of all of the stands that we need to get. I think I miscounted them, but it's okay. Okay, let's focus on upgrading Star Platinum now. We're gonna need platinum hellstone blah 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 we have the platinum we have the hellstone we have the amethyst we have the will to protect the will to fight we just need five fallen stars one two three four five let's go baby star platinum tier two do 53 damage now tier three is in hard mode okay during this time i began looking for an anklet of wind to make lightning boots in order to prepare for the wall of flesh fight but i ended up giving up and i started testing out star platinum on the queen bee what are the chances we can beat queen bee first try without a platform i don't know let's find out oh my gosh that damage Oh, this thing is so OP. Come on. Start platinum. <laughs> oh, it's over. I ended up finding the garbage tinker. I mean, goblin tinkerer. And I was able to make specter boots with warding, which is very delicious. Can I get warding? Okay, it's okay. Now, before fighting the wall of flush, I kind of knew that I was going to need a long range stand. So I decided to level up Hierophant Green to tier two. We need will to protect, will to change, and we need five more emeralds, which we can actually buy. And tier two, baby. I went down and prepared myself, drank some delicious potions, and I got my stands out. And well, this is the fight. I think we should be good to go. Yonk. 
there it is let's see the attack of higher fan green does it pierce a little bit it pierces a little bit maybe dude we can't pierce through the hungry dude all right hold up i want i want to use star platinum baby let's do a lot of damage i can't tell it does a pretty good amount of damage but we're, we're too close we can't do that nope 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 no 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 we gotta use higher fan green let's use our bubbles bubbles i'm on higher fan green use your emeralds baby dude maybe magician's red would have been really good for this oh slow and steady that's how it works around here baby oh it's about to die oh god we're about to die too oh god wait why are we about to die whoa 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 why are we about to die what did we get did we get a stand emblem oh -ho -ho! let's go baby and now we are in hard mode the next thing we needed to do is to get hollowed bars in order to upgrade our stands to tier three most of them actually unlock all of their abilities by tier three and so with that being said i went ahead and destroyed a ton of altars there was going to be a titanium armor set where the headpiece would actually benefit a stand so i had to mine a ton of titanium for this 140 titanium how much would i bet it's not even enough we don't have enough that's actually insane i mined so much titanium all right full titanium stand armor that's what it looks like sheesh all right 71 damage 45 dude that's insane after i made the full set of titanium armor i went ahead to farm some wings but the problem was i couldn't effectively farm harpies like i said the stands only targeted one at a time i mean like hierophant and green can do more but we needed something way better and so i went ahead to go craft a new stand called killer queen let's make a new stand because i want to kill harpies but i kind of die a lot so killer queen nice killer queen first tier can i make the second tier will to destroy will to escape will to destroy is in the underworld and will to escape is in the dungeon so i'll be right back i just need the will to escape there it is that's all right we got the will go home toss everything in here kill the queen tier two all right let's see what this looks like we have another stand now actually i just realized yeah Oh, wait, this actually looks really good. Can I use the ability? Left, left click to punch and right click to trigger a block. Yes. So if you guys don't know, if you right click with Killer Queen's ability, whatever it touches becomes a bomb. Can I like put it down here? Oh my gosh. That's so cool. All right, this is why I wanted to do it. I can farm harpies now. Bring it out and just right click. Oh my gosh, yes it does, it works. Holy crap, yes. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it attacks a lot of enemies. What is that, soul of time? And there's a harpy feather right there, let's go. It worked out perfectly. So I was able to craft harpy wings and now we are one step closer to fighting the destroyer. During this time, I also saw that a new NPC called Darby. Dar Darby. <laughs> oh crap, Darby, what the heck? What are you doing here? Cheating, it's only cheating if you get caught. Buy items, interesting. Interesting. Darby's cards. What? You can actually gamble with him? <coughs> but anyway, during this time, I decided to get some more tier two stands and I decided to get the tier two for Zawardo. 25. And there we go. The world tier two. Zawardo. I can't fucking do it. Bam. Special. I think the special is G. Holy crap. I started farming for some souls of light and night while playing with the stand powers. It was just a very good and handy dandy time. After that, I went to go farm materials for the mechanical worm, which was specifically, I think, rotten chunks. I'm, I'm so used to it, to be, you know, being vertebrae. I was also testing out the stand powers as well, and I think it kind of sucks, what, like what we have right now, because like I said, we're only stuck on one target. But hey, most of our powers are, you know, pretty fine. It only made me concerned because if we're going to fight the destroyer, we would preferably, you know, need like something that can pierce. But I don't think anything can pierce, at least for now. So, um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work work out we just needed to kill it one time to get a hollowed bar so yeah i crafted the mechanical worm and i just prayed for the fight to go well we should be able to do this um we don't really need it to pierce as long as it hits we should be good let's do this Yeet. let me get manual control over hierophant green just spam the emeralds spamming the emerald emerald splasher uh, is that what the name was is it piercing i can't tell it's not it's not we're doing really good damage though freeze time Do damage. Star platinum, star platinum. How much damage does star platinum do? Very minuscule. Oh, higher fan green. Higher fan green is the way to go. Oh, just oh, oh my gosh. Higher fan. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Jeez, we can do this. We literally can do this. Higher fan green is crazy. It's literally insane. Yep, higher fan green is insane. Look at that beautiful, sexy damage. And you're dead. Just beautiful. It was just beautiful. Simply beautiful. After beating the destroyer, we now have hollowed bars, which we can use to upgrade higher fan green first because that's obviously what's like really, really good right now. <laughs> so I went ahead and upgraded it to tier three or was it tier two i think tier three and this thing is insane and right click to shoot more accurate emeralds whoa oh it's like the nest does it like damage everything inside of it you can just spam it 
I'm just in awe, dude. There's just so many emeralds everywhere, dude. Now, before progressing, I wanted to level up Dio stand to get a better time duration thing. If we were to level it up, we would actually get more seconds, which was pretty good. So I decided to fight the destroyer again for more hollowed bars, and I accidentally ran into a new ability for higher phantom green that I didn't realize we had. Yay. Whoa. Wait, what? How did higher fan green? Wait, what? How did higher fan green do that? When did we learn how to do that? Oh. oh my god, it actually works. Wait, what if the destroyer goes in here? Come in here. Oh, all the emerald just come out of nowhere. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I also decided to level up star platinum. So here's the footage of that. And it's amazing. All right, we have everything to get upgraded star platinum. Maybe tier three. Tier three. 120 damage punch enemies really fast and you start star finger star finger <laughs> i killed the destroyer again while testing out the stands and i still came to the conclusion that hierophant green is just it's just op man but i still needed a stand where i can mass like farm enemies and like i said that was killer queen so i decided to level it up but the problem with this crafting recipe was that i actually needed a hand with this like i need a literal hand i found out on the wiki that the hand drops from either humans like npcs zombies or goblins so um i just went ahead and just summoned a goblin army oh i got a hand i got it I got a hand! I ended up getting all of the materials for Killer Queen pretty easily after that, and I, I upgraded it, and I got a new attack called the Sheer Heart Attack, which is unbelievably good. We have unlocked a new attack, Sheer Heart Attack, which should be this button. It is not that button. Is it this button? It is that button. It's so cute! How do I use it? Should be like... I. Oh my god, 300! I almost died! Oh wait, this is actually so OP. Holy crap. Wait, this is so good. It was essentially like a slow little moving DVD cartridge and held the same amount of gunpowder as a small, tiny piece of dynamite. And it would explode at least three times and do a ton of damage. But yeah, now at this point of the playthrough, I decided that maybe it was time to get some more stands. That's exactly what I did. All right, these are the ones that we need to get. Let's see how many I can craft though. I should be able to craft a few, right? Grateful Dead. That's the only one I can craft. Grateful Dead. Zahando. Sticky Finger. Tusk. Magician's Red. Okay, we just got five more stands. Let's check all of them out before we move on. Magician's Red. Pop it out. Oh, baby. Whoa. Is it infinite? Does it go on forever? Wait, that's pretty good. Um, uh, Let's do Grateful Dead. Nice. All right, so this one says if you punch enemies, it makes them age. But how do you make them age, though? How does that work? More effective on hot biomes. That makes sense. Interesting. Thing. All right, maybe we gotta get more abilities for that. Zahando. Oh, I love how this stand looks, dude. It looks so good. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to get the other abilities for this. Sticky fingers. Oh, Bruchetti. Bruno. Arrivederci. What is this? <laughs> and finally, Tusk. This is from a new part, which. Oh, this is so cute. It shoots out nails. All right, those are our new stands. We have to upgrade all of them too, but that's going to take a lot. Let's just stick them on here, you know? Okay, we need to get more stand arrows, but actually we didn't have all the materials to craft all of the stands we wanted to make because we needed to craft stand arrows, but to make stand arrows, we needed a viral meteorite, but I didn't have that. So I decided to go back to the viral meteorite that we planted before earlier, mine all of that, then plant some of that into a new meteor. And then after that, I went to go make some delicious stand arrows. Oh yeah, I also needed to get more wills to make these other stands very fun I, I very fun specifically i think i went into the jungle the forest at nighttime and the dungeon and then eventually the desert to get all of the wills i needed but it took a very long time but eventually like i said i got all of the stands that i wanted to craft so we can craft dolly dagger i don't know what this does i don't remember this st uh stand king crimson 20th century boy left click to use this as a dagger to stab enemies equip it to nullify and reflect 35 percent of all damage what 20th century boy use these special abilities to make yourself immune to damage but unable to use or move items what i can't do anything oh i'm like immune oh that's kind of cool let's use the dagger you go here you go here uh you can go here we were only missing a few ones but i'll go over that later in the video actually i'll go over that right now specifically we got most of the stands except for the upgradable ones such as the requiem variants for golden experience we also needed to get the stray cat stand but other than that we pretty much had most of them all right now let's continue with playing terraria before fighting the twins i set out to go get magician's red to tier three the problem was I needed to go get some living fire blocks to do that, so I went to the underworld to go farm that, and it took a while. After enough grinding, I was able to craft the tier 3 Magician's Red. Oh, I already know this is going to be good. Right click to grab an enemy. Special is Crossfire Hurricane. 
Woo. And then I went ahead and challenged the twins. All right, let's boom. My fire versus your fire. My fire is not even reaching. Okay, it's decent damage. Does it pierce? Oh, it pierces a little bit. What about star platinum? How much does star platinum do? She. Yes, come close to me. It's over. Dude, we do so much damage when it's staying still. Oh, we're burning. Oh, we're burning. Oh, it's hot. Transform. Yes. Brrr. Queen, use your bomb. Oh, there's so much damage. Oh, there's so much damage. Fire fan green. Let me get that emerald splash in, baby. Sheesh. Look at all those. My foot fell asleep. Let's go back to magician's red. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you're on fire now, baby. And you're dead. Come here. Brrr. All right, it's fine. I'll just use emeralds. It's fine. Play. You want to play like this? Fine by me. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Wait, wait, wait. I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. Whoa, 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 after that, I went ahead to go fight Skeletron Prime. You already know the drill, but this was actually kind of crazy because I tried to use as many stands as I possibly could, and yeah, it's just pretty crazy. Watch the fight. All right, let's do this. It's just the waiting game. Let me put this down here. I'm just go over here. Well, we did a lot of damage. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's just a star plot and, you know, spice things up a bit. Sheesh. Oh, this absolutely melts, dude. Let me get Killer Queen out. Dude, higher fan green is actually just so good. It's just so good. If I can get rid of the arms, I can just use a uh, star platinum. Ow, ow. Oh, 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 ow. All right, let's use a star platinum. Star platinum just melts the arms. Going in crazy. Going in crazy. Come on. That's one arm. One more arm left. Dude, we melt. We actually melt. This is insane. Insane. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap. We can't reach that high, but we can just fly. Oh, oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. And it's over. It's actually over. Holy crap. Now, before fighting Plantera, I wanted to go ahead and get Clarifite. I get Chlorophyte because I usually never get Chlorophyte, but this is the last thing we needed to do before we get our stand to the highest level. With the Chlorophyte, I was actually able to combine it with the Viral Meteorite to make Chlora... Chlora something. Chlorocyte? I don't remember, actually. And I used this to make an armor set that actually adapts to what stand you use. And I thought this was sick. Bing, bing, bong. What does it look like? Oh, damn. This is kind of sick but yeah with this armor set i went ahead and fought plantera okay who should i use you know what i'm gonna use hierophant green whoa wait what oh the helmet changes based off of what um stand you use oh snap see it does holy crap short ranged long range dude that's actually so freaking cool oh that's why yeet use the ability come inside here yes activate all of the emeralds Jeez. Come on, I just gotta beat this, and then we get to a final tier level for the thingy. Wait, there we go. Now we're doing more damage. You, 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 you bubbles. Oh, it's over. It's literally over, dude. All right, let's switch out to Star Platinum because we're so close. Oh, wait, this is actually... Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, this is really bad. Oh, this is so freaking bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. Where's Hierophant Green? Help me. Use your ability. Use your ability. Oh, no, this is horrible. Oh, no, this is bad. Burn everything. Magician's red. Burn the plant. Use your thingy. Come on. Come on. Star platinum. Star platinum. Go. Go. Oh, oh my God. That was so close. Dude, our HP just like... After beating Plantera, we actually finally had access to the final tier of stands. Well, most of them. Reason being is now we can actually get Ectoplasm, and with Ectoplasm, we can actually, like I said, upgrade them to their final tiers. So I went to the dungeon and began getting some Ectoplasm. Now, the first stand I decided to make the final tier, of course, was Hierophant Green. I mean, like, I don't think there's any, you know, debate for that. Righteous Life Force. Wait, I got this. Souls of Sight. A ton of wills. Chlorophyte Ore. I don't think I have that. I do, actually. Oh, I'm kind of crazy. Okay. Righteous life force. We need a large emerald, which I should be able to buy. Oh, I love capitalism. And now, Hierophant Green final tier. How many emeralds does it shoot now? Holy crap. It just goes everywhere. 105 damage. That is insane. <laughs> All right, let's go get some more ectoplasm. I continued farming some more ectoplasm until I was able to craft Star Platinum's final tier, which actually gains a new ability. Let's go! Star Platinum final tier, baby. There we go. Enough to make Star Platinum final tier. Which means... Does it look... I, I don't know if it looks a little bit different, but... You know what we can do now? Oh! We can stop time as Star... Ah, 
Fuck you! After that, I made the final tier for Killer Queen. Well, the quote unquote final tier. It's not the actual final tier, but let's go with that. Okay, now we need to get <coughs> Killer Queen final. I don't think we'll need Magician's Red. Soul of Night. We can make the Tainted Life Force. With that, now we need Will to Escape and Hands. I think we should have some hands. Yes, we do. Will to Escape. No, we don't. We got to go back to the dungeon for that. Perfectly fine. All right, there we go. Now we just need seven Chlorophyte. And now we can craft the final tier of Killer Queen. 112 damage, bro. Let's go here and let's just turn it on and just try it out. We'll turn this on as well. That thing's beautiful. Achio Muro. That's 100 damage. Oh, just literal just explosions, dude. Okay, I think that's all we need to beat the game but then i came to an actual roadblock because we actually needed the traveling merchant to arrive and sell us a pearl necklace the pearl necklace or actually i think it's a pearl ring it would actually allow us to upgrade some of our stands about i think two or three to its true quote-unquote potential but while i was waiting for the traveling merchant i decided to go ahead and craft the amulets which is essentially a stand accessory but the problem was i misinterpreted the recipes essentially there's a ton of gold and platinum amulets each requiring wills and for some reason i thought you had to craft every single one of them but you don't you just have to craft the platinum or the gold ones and you combine those with each other but i ended up crafting both of them in the next few like clips and you'll see my you know you'll just see the suffering i go to i first decided to go mining for some lead and platinum and then with that platinum i turned it into gold like i said we didn't need to do that but then after that i went to go make some more houses just in case the traveling merchant would spawn faster but anyway back to grinding for the ambulance never mind here's an unexpected guest poochie what <laughs> no way oh my god it's poochie buy stands oh i I could have just bought all of them oh you got to be kidding me i crafted all of them just to find out you can just buy all of them after that i made the basic amulets and I, this is when i realized that i needed to get a ton of more wills it was this one right amulet to escape now we have all the basic amulets and now we start combining them the greater amulet of protect oh wait we have to oh wait wait what more will to destroy will to escape more wills to change like i said we didn't actually need that but i thought that we did so i went to the underworld and into the jungle and i really tortured myself like i hated farming wills man but eventually i had the idea to finally get the stray cat stand essentially this was a small plant that would not actually be mature until you beat plantera after that if you use a bug net you can capture it and get this stand well it's not really a stand kind of stray cat is not a stand what oh you use it Oh, wait, what? <gasps> Traveling merchant, sir, please sell the viral pearl ring. After that, I did like literally everything else. I got more ambulance, went to the dungeon, the jungle. It was really, really bad. But I decided to craft a new stand called Grateful Dead to help me grind. I need to get a new stand all the way up to level whatever. And it's going to be this one. Grateful Dead. There's a reason why. I'm going to show you why. And we need Shroomite bars. I am going to go insane. Hello, Truffle. How are you doing? Auto hammer delicious we need 14 of these 35 all right perfect we'll need 20 iker and there we go now tier two tier three final tier right click enemies to make them age whatever let me see what it is so basically you can spread gas you'll see what i'm talking about all right let's go to the dungeon i want to test it out i'm very excited i hope this will work because i'm gonna hide in a little cubby hole Okay, now all the enemies are spawning in. They're all down there, right? Normally, we can't kill them, but with Grateful Dead, you turn it on and it spreads gas and it damages them over time. Oh, this is so slow. Oh, we're going nowhere with this. Oh, no, it was a waste. It basically makes people age faster, by the way. I eventually realized the mistake about the ambulance at this point. You know what? I actually wonder, are these the same amulets? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. I also noticed that at this point of the playthrough, we actually couldn't get those pearls I was talking about. For the traveling merchant, because I have Louis AFK, at least I think, because I have Louis AFK, it would take up the slot for the viral pearl ring necklace thing. And because of that, I couldn't ever buy it. At least I think that's what it is. I don't know. I, I checked the Discord server. I think people were having issues with that. But um, yeah, I ended up just cheating it in. I didn't want to really wait for the traveling merchant. And even if I did it whenever it, 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 it wouldn't even spawn in. Yeah. The funny part is I didn't even cheat enough in so yeah i actually ended up cheating more in later but yeah i don't know this i'm, I'm a mess <laughs> but yeah finally with all of these pearls we can actually craft a new armor set check it out i oh wait i think i can actually make it oh i can make the whole thing oh i can make the whole thing oh my gosh let's put it on phantom oh 
Ooh, okay. It's also neutral. Spirits around you are marked upon death. They violently explode. They give stand stuff. What if I summon this? Okay, yeah. So it changes depending on what you use. It's pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I like my armor set more, so we're gonna put on my armor set. <laughs> Sorry, game. After that, I went to go fight Golem, and I had some technical difficulties. Oh, it's over. I'm dead. I keep hitting everything in the arena. This arena is so freaking weird and just so stupid. Like, what is this freaking bump in the middle of the... Like, what? Dude, I literally just don't understand that arena. Every temple I go to is cursed. Maybe it's just my bad luck. It's my horror. It 100% is that. Well, anyway, we're gonna fight it here instead because I am not going in there, dude. That was ridiculous. Hello, Golem. I'm starving. So if we could make this quickie and snapperoni and macaroni even, dude, that'd be fantastic. Now we're gonna freeze time. So I'm putting them so hard, no! It's over! Bruh, I wasn't even worried. After Golem, you already know I went to go fight the lunatic cultist. Hello. Um, this is awkward. I'm just gonna... Oh my god. We're gonna stop time as soon as he... So hard, no! Oh, that's some pretty good damage, my guy. Oh, we can do this. Oh, we can do this. <laughs> it's over for you, buddy. It's over for you. Zawardo. Now, before fighting the lunar events, I actually wanted to get Killer Queen's ability, the quote-unquote final form, to a higher form with the Requiem arrow, which actually unlocks the Bite the Dust ability. We can make a Requiem. We can combine Killer Queen. Strikato. And then we can make a Requiem arrow with the pearl that we got. That means I actually need to get more pearls because I ran out of pearls and I need to make two Requiem arrows. I can now make a Tainted Life Force, which means I can combine Stray Cat and Killer Queen to make the final... I right, guess it's the final. This right here. Look, look at that. Look at Stray Cat inside of his tummy. I can activate... Right click to shoot bubbles. Oh, I shoot bubbles and detonate them? Oh. Our special is bite the dust. So this is what we can do. If we use it, it goes back in time. So if we die, we can use it and we literally nothing will happen. Essentially, it allows you to reset the day in case you die or you want to reset progress. At least I think. After that, I started doing the pillars. And after I finally defeated the vortex pillar, I believe. I am flying. Yes! Yes! Oh. I was able to craft an awakened amulet, which is just fantastic. Look at all of that. Oh my. All that words. More damage, speed, cooldown reduction. Oh my god. You already know it's going to be tasty. And then I went ahead and started doing the other pillars. It was very hard. You'll see me struggle. Here's footage of me struggling. Uh, I started using Killer Queen, though, so it wasn't so bad. Actually, no, I'm, I'm lying. It was pretty bad. I'm back, baby! So hard, Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Star Platinum! Zawardo! Oh my gosh. Oh! And now, finally, Moon Lord was writhing. Now, as you guys can tell, I was kind of scared. How on earth am I supposed to fight the Moon Lord, a literal flying entity, using a five meter stand? Well, actually, it was easier than it actually was, but I still died. No, I tied. Twice. But on the time that I did kill it, this is the fight. And I think it was a very cool fight because it was very intense. Um, I liked it a lot. Here's the fight. We're listening to some Itzy right now. This is it, baby. This is it! That's a lot of damage. Gotta pass the laser. Yes! Yes! Look at that damage, my guy! That's what I'm talking about! This is gonna be a cakewalk. Let me use my hummon. We stopped the laser, and now we're pummeling it! Let's go! We are crazy, dude. We have to be really close. That's the only concern that I have is that we are so close. So I'm putting them! Zawardo! Oh, please shoot the laser from the left side. Ah, okay. So when you stop time, that doesn't work. <laughs> so close. No, I ran out of wing flight. That's one eye. That's another eye. No, no. Ow. Woo! Woo! Oh my God. Oh my God. We take so much damage. Go, go, go. We're so close. Oh no. Oh no. Star Platinum, Zawardo. Oh my God, if I die. Oh my God, they're just on my left testicle. Ah! Star Platinum, 
Zawardo. Oh my god. Dude, these things are in the way. Dude. Oh, just fly up. You just fly up. That's all you have to do. You just fly up and start playing up. Oh, I'm gonna die. Come on. We're so close. Zawardo. Let's go. We did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so unnecessarily difficult. Dude, we just, we took so much damage. Fantastic. After the fight, I killed it again one more time and I was able to craft Requiem armor. I think I can make it now. I hope so. Requiem boobies. Let's go. Full Requiem armor. Interesting. What does it look like with a stand? Oh, what? It doesn't even change that much. Interesting. We got a lot of defense, huh? It's nice. I like my armor set though. And with that being said, we are now at end game. So I decided to go ahead and make all of the stands to the final level, but we're gonna go in order in terms of the anime, starting with part three, because part one and two don't have any stands. Part three, let's go. I already maxed out Star Platinum and Higher Fan Green, and you already seen enough footage of that. So I needed to level up Magician's Red and Zawardo, the world to the final levels. All right, Magician's Red, final tier. Zawardo, final tier. First of all, let's check out Magician's Red. 196 damage, holy crap. Oh my gosh, it's like a machine gun. Maybe I should have just used this instead of Fire Fenton Green. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's awesome. All right. Zuberdo, final tier. Stops time for nine seconds. Second spec. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, what? Don't tell me. Holy crap. That's fucking crazy. Wait, this might be. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is crazy good. That does so much damage. You literally freeze time for nine seconds, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, part three was pretty quick. So now let's move on to part four. I mean, we already have everything for Killer Queen. We already did everything. Killer Queen, we already figured it all out. We already had Stray Cat as well. Stray Cat actually glitches on my stand, so I'm not going to use it. But now we got to level up these two. Zahundo. This has got to be one of my favorite stands. I Like in terms of how it looks, it's just so cool. You need to get Titanium, Hellstone, and Shroomite. Oh, fantastic. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have everything. Yes, we do. Two, tier two, tier three, final tier. All right. All right, let's see what it does. The punching's really fast. Very nice. 149 damage. Whoa. Did y'all hear that? What the fuck? That's if I right click. If I right click, it scrapes away space. Oh, I dash towards it. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Okay. What about the G? Hold special to charge a scrape attack. I'm holding it. I have no idea what it does. All right, now we're going to level up the lock. We need will to escape and will to control and hollowed bars. Okay, I think I have everything. Tier two, tier three, and final tier. All right. Special, damage yourself and make everyone in a 40 tile radius guilty about it. What? If I kill myself, does everyone else die? That'd be kind of cool. Let me take off my armor. Summon it again. It takes like 12 damage. What if I use my special? Okay, it's like a little bit of damage. It's like, okay. Okay, it's it's all right. It's cute. You know, it's it's a little, you know. Sorry about that, buddy. All right, that's it for part th uh, four. Let's put it all on the wall. Killer Queen, Stray Cat, Zalok. All right, now moving on to part five. Part five actually has the most amount of stands and I think the most unique abilities as well. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. Awesome. All right, uh, part five now. Okay, these are all of the stands for part five. The reason, there's a reason why I have two golden experiences. The only one that we have final is Grateful Dead, but this one, we already showed it off. It's the gas ability. We can also kill NPCs, by the way. Look, you grab them and then you suck their life, well, not life force out, but you, you make them old. Oh, that's, oh God. Let's leave golden experience for the last one because that's the one that has the most abilities, I think. So let's go with six pistols. We need a gun for this, actually, and some ammo. Holy crap. Wait, why do you need so much stuff for this? All right, I think I have everything. Pistol tier two, tier three, final. Fantastic, I did. So right click and have control, blah, 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 blah. Use a gun and have its bullets home. Oh, so any gun? Oh, okay. Right click to have controlled bullets go in the direction of the mouse. Wait, so if I buy a mini shark. Oh, they regen. Yeah. If I right click, look, if I right click. Oh, that's so cool. So you shoot them out, right? You shoot out the bullets and then you can right click it to make it all go in one direction. That's so cool. All right, next stand. Let's do sticky fingers. Sticky fingers. Final tier. Punch enemies at a fast rate and zip them open. What? Right click for an extended punch. Special zip in the direction of your mouse for a distance of 30 tiles. Yeet. Oh, it's like a little mini grappling hook. Oh, that's so cute. 
I wish I could see the zipping. Like, if only you literally opened them up. I mean, like, that's kind of unrealistic to... The noise, bro. Why does Bruno sound like that? Uh, next stand. Let's do... Aerosmith. Naranja. Dude, okay, I finally have everything for Naranja's stand. Aerosmith. And tier final, whatever. Let's put it on. 134 damage. Left click to move. Right click to shoot bullets. Drop a bomb. Passive carbon radar. No way they actually added the passive. They actually did. Oh, I can't go through platforms. Wait, this is kind of crazy. All right, let me use this. What? <laughs> Holy crap. Drop a bomb. Oh, the bomb goes through. Oh, the carbon radar actually literally works. Look at it. it all the enemies are... Oh, you can move it. That is so cool. Holy crap. Uh, let's do King Crimson next. All right. I think I have enough. Tier final. Final tier. It attacks so slow. Right click to use epitaph for nine. Wait, what is this? You are staring into the future. No way. Wait a freaking second. We can literally see where the enemy will go. Well, doesn't that depend on where we are in the world? Like our position? Hold on, hold on, wait. All right, hold on, wait. All right. Let's summon King Slime. Toss this down and then use G. Wait, that's the wrong ability. Oh, we're skipping time. Oh yeah, we don't take damage. That's not what I wanted to do though. I want to do this. All right, wait. So if we right click, we can see where they go. And then what? Does it like rewind back? It dies. It freaking does. So it's going to go up now. That's crazy. Wait, what if we go over here though? Doesn't it break it? Wait, it doesn't. Wait, we can actually see the literal future of where they're going to go. Go back in time and they're still going to follow it. Wait, that's actually insane. That is so freaking... How does that even work? <laughs> what? All right, anyway, that's that's pretty cool. All right, anyway, now we got to do golden experience. Final tier. Okay, so tier one, we're going to keep it in our inventory. No, we're not. We're going to have to toss it down because this is technically... This is technically the final tier. It's the same stand. All right, all right, all right. So when you use your special, you have a different ability every time. So we can do a ton of these. So the tree ability, if you right click, it should create a tree, right? It it, it should create a tree. Yep, it creates a literal tree. It, it it made a tree. Can I climb it? That would be cool if I could climb it. The butterfly ability, well, it creates a butterfly. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty and so sexy. I don't know what they really do though. They I know they have something. Limb recreation is really cool though. If you use this ability, you heal. I'm pretty sure. Well, we can make a frog. I don't know. So there's a lot of abilities. I don't want. I think you use them more in combat, but that's not the point. The idea is we can make this requiem golden experience with a requiem arrow, which we actually have. All we got to do is combine it and now we have gold experience requiem holy crap 290 damage and i think it has what abilities does it have death loop back to zero scorpion rock death loop i want to use death loop the next enemy you go through will no way wait, 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 wait. Is that a slime? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. You're telling me I can make an enemy loop through death more? <clears throat> All right, hold on. Wait, excuse me. Maybe I have the wrong idea. Let's just summon Skeletron, right? Maybe I have the completely wrong idea about what this ability can really do. Activate it. Let's kill this. Oh. So it, act so it does. It spawns the enemy back, kills it, does it again and does it again i think it depends on what type of enemy you respawn back but yo that's crazy that means you could like farm enemies over and over and over again that's so freaking cool what does back to zero do though what does this do enemies that hurt you never touched you at all wait what whoa wait what oh wait oh wait. ultimate battler i'm literally phasing through all of the enemies they just like teleport back that is so freaking cool that's awesome dude all right, I think that's all of the part five stands. Oh, wait, we didn't do Dolly Dagger. Ah, oh, shit. Dolly Dagger tier two, so there's only a tier two. Left click to stab enemies and right click to reflect damage as the nearest enemy. In the stand slot, equip it to nullify and reflect 70% of all damage. Is that really what it does? That's kind of in over here. Oh, it does. Yeah, it just reflects the damage onto the boss. That's cute. All right, yeah, that's all part five stands now, right? So now we're done part five, and now we're going to do part six. There's actually only one stand from part six, and then after that, I was going to do all of the five stands from part seven. But here's the thing. I didn't actually complete the manga for part seven, and I don't really want to spoil myself nor anybody else who is just stuck to the anime. So I'm actually going to be skipping those stands. I know I said we were going to collect all of the stands, but I'm sorry. I just don't want to spoil myself. And uh, yeah, if you really want to see what they do, though, you can always download the mod yourself and play it yourself. But yeah, here's the part six stands. Okay, the next one is the final 
final one. I'm not gonna do Tusk or 20th Century Boy because I'm reading part seven right now and I still don't know what they do. I'm on like chapter 36. So I'm not gonna go over it just because I don't wanna spoil myself. I don't wanna spoil anyone that watches the anime. So we're just gonna do Pale Snake and then we're gonna end the video off there. Pale Snake or White Snake. I'm sorry, I don't know why they, why does this crafting recipe look so daunting? Okay, I think I have everything uh, to craft. Final tier. No, apparently not. What am I missing? Tier two, tier three, and I can't make tier four. I need, there we go, final tier. Okay, wait, I'm actually the most excited for this one. Pale snake is, white snake is so freaking cool, dude. Okay, so it punches really fast, right? Here's the thing, right click to throw acid. Okay, you know, it's not working though. What was that? Did y'all see? <laughs> That's not acid. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What is it? Wait a minute. That's not acid. That's not acid. <laughs> anyway, uh, special. Yeah. Take enemy discs. So let me see if it works. Let me go to Jotaro and use it. Did it work? Okay, it's a little bit buggy, but you can take enemies' discs. Can I take a slime's disc? What does it do? It doesn't really do anything, does it, huh? Oh, I remember. Oh, I know. If you take the disc, it literally stop moving. Look, I'm gonna take the nurse or the dryad or the wizard. They literally don't move. They stand there like they're dead. All right, wait a minute. So with that being said, wait, can I even talk to them? I can. Let me spawn, let me spawn the, uh, the king slime in really quickly. I wanna see if I can take his disc and he just can't move. That would be so freaking amazing. All right, hold on, wait. That guy, it didn't work. Okay, it's all right. It's okay. And I think that's all of the stands we can get. Like, you have these ones, right? There's four of these. And then there's one of this. But I think that's it. I know we're missing... Well, I know you can't get purple hermit. The other ones are also in beta. So we can't get those. So, yeah. I think we got all of them. Yeah. Wow. That was kind of crazy. I guess we gotta do one more final send-off. One, two, three... But yeah, that was the Jojo Bizarre Adventure mod. There was a ton of stands that were in the beta that I actually skipped. So when that stuff comes out, I'll be sure to revisit this mod and play it all out. But yeah, I think this video was really fun to make. Watching the entire Jojo series was just fantastic. I'm really enjoying part seven right now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to claim your free rewards on Monster Legends by clicking the link in the description or using the QR code on the screen. Make sure you do this by April 10th to claim your reward. But uh, yeah, it's been Adrian, guys.